Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm super excited. We're taking a look at a Class C from Winnebago that gives you a sofa, a dinette with no slide outs. This is the 2020 Winnebago Outlook Model 25J. We are going to take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then I'm going to give you three things I love about this motorhome and three things I dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. My name is Matt from Matt's RV Reviews. It's the world's only channel that gives you that true unbiased review about everything when it comes to RVs. And again, today we are taking a look at our first Winnebago Outlook which is Winnebago's entry level Class C motorhome. My favorite floor plan of it is the 25J, which it gives you a sofa, a dinette with no slide outs. I'm super excited to show you everything about it. But before we begin, I wanna say hi to Andrea. Hey Andrea. Hi everybody. Thanks so much for coming out. Yes. She might be a little slow today cause she pulled her back. I, I also might be a little bit grumpy, I apologize. Oh man, it's okay. You're allowed to be grumpy. But uh, thanks so much for coming out. And uh, also, before we begin, uh, we did a live broadcast last night. And if you like that and you wanna see more of that, just leave that in the comments below. But let's get started. Model is 25J, but the actual tip to tip length is 26 feet, two inches. This is powered on the Ford E350 chassis. It's a 305 horsepower engine, Ford V10 with 460 pounds of torque. This is an entry level class C, but the price point's really amazing. And you do have a bunk over the cab right here. Now, if you're interested in Winnebago class C's, but you want a little bit higher one, you would then be looking at the mini Winnie. Coming down the side, you do have these nice chrome mirrors here. And what I'm actually pretty surprised about seeing is it does have left camera and right cameras integrated in the mirrors. And a lot of motorhomes at this price point aren't doing that coming down the side I love this you have a huge awning down the whole side of the coach let's see what that looks like when it's out pretty cool nice power awning with LED lights I'm a huge fan because this is a Winnebago their fiberglass sidewalls they don't use Luan they actually use Asdale which is a green composite Long story short, it will never delaminate on you. What Luan is, is a wood-based material. So whenever there's a leak in any moisture, that's when you get that separation and delamination. This will never happen. Right here is your potable water fill. That's where you fill it up. Look at that. It's a place to hook up your dog pets. Well, not dog pets. Just your pets. <laughs> dog pets. You know what I'm saying. Over here, okay. we have a little bit of storage. Oh, you're not feeling that today? Uh, All right, we're not feeling, look, I got you. I got you, babe. Oh yeah. Thanks. Look at her, she's hunched I'm over sorry. like an old lady. Good. <laughs> it's all good. Right here, you have a coax for the exterior and power plugs so you can watch TV on the outside. I got you again. You got a little bit more storage there. Not a ton of storage, but most Class C's don't have a lot of storage. You have a water heater out here. It is a six gallon DSI water heater. And more storage right there. Very nice. Coming around the back, you have a rear bumper here. This is a great place to put your sewer hose. Right here is a pl uh, place for you to put your black this is uh, blah, 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 blah. sorry y'all this is your black tank flush you hook up the hose and it helps clean your black tank also right there you do have a backup camera also left and right blinker in reverse this also has a 7500 pound hitch i wouldn't tow 7500 pounds of this motorhome i would leave it to five or six thousand pounds but it's only just so everybody knows it's 500 pounds of vertical or 7500 pounds towing also, you have a ladder to get, get up on the roof. Let's go up there and take a look. Up here on the roof, you can see that this is a nice one-piece fiberglass roof. Hi, I'm Matt with Winnebago, and Matt's a liar. 
The roof on an Outlook is actually a PVC composite roof. Thanks, Matt from Winnebago. Up there you have your AC unit. It's a 13.5. There's your digital antenna, and then look right there. It's prepped for solar, and there's not a lot of action going on on this roof, so you have plenty of space to put your solar panels. Careful, Matthew. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got it. We don't need you to hurt your back, too. Great. And if you haven't already, make sure you smash that thumbs up button. What other RV salesman's gonna bring out his crippled wife <laughs> on a Tuesday to record some RV videos with her back hurting and get his fat ass up on the roof to show you what features the roof has to offer? Nobody. What is that over there? What's what? Matthew. Are you talking about the official Matt's RV review sticker? Oh. That, that, listen, this adds the resale of any motorhome by 100 or 200%. Oh, nice. So if you buy a motorhome, for sixty thousand, and you put that on, it's instantly worth one hundred twenty thousand dollars. No, no, this sticker will not increase the value of your motorhome. No way. And I'll tell you, you know where they can get that from? Where? Down under the video, you'll see a thing for Teesprings. You click it, and for seven ninety nine, you can have your own official Matt's RV nice. review stickers. Free. Oh wow. Over here? That storage looks Wow, better. look at that. Oh, sorry, baby. Look, you got a great amount of storage over here. That is very nice. Right here, you have your black and gray tank, tank dump. Over here, 30 amp motorhome, and you have your power right there. And then right here, you do have a 55 gallon fuel tank. And also, I'll have all the rest of the specifications about this motorhome lengths tank sizes widths, everything all down in the description below finishing up you have a little bit more storage there that's from the other side cable hookup oh, yep not much storage it is classy did you do the city fill and all that good stuff right here's your propane tank it is an 18 gallon propane tank and then right here you have a Cummins Onan 4000 gas generator. Now, the outside of this motorhome looks great, but it looks even better. Let's go take a look. Hold up, Matthew. What? Can I ask you something? No. We didn't go over the chassis? Yes, we did. No, we didn't. I promise we did. I don't think we did. I know we well, did. Well, I know I didn't show the front of it. Oh, okay, we'll show the front of it. And now this is on a Ford 350 chassis. Yes, okay. E350. Sorry, guys, if I didn't remember. It's okay. She's losing her mind, y'all. Check out the inside. All right. Great, so inside the Outlook 25J. This is what it's like all the time. All the time, there's no slide outs on this motorhome, and which is pretty cool. We can get to the bathroom. Yep. Nice. Andrea. Yes. Honest opinion. How yes. do you feel about all the white? Um, don't like it. Okay. Well, some people like it, some people it, don't uh, like it. it. It just, I guess it's how you decorate. I think it's too much white. But I do like white, but maybe because the interior's white, maybe yeah. that's why. May, I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's so definitely cool. different. So, um, yep, normally this is where we put the slide out, out, but we not. So I have a huge favor. Please, leave down in the comments below. Let us know three things you like about this motorhome and three things you don't like about this motorhome. The more people who comment and hit that thumbs up button, the more YouTube likes to promote our videos to. So thank you so much. Cool. Up front here, in the cockpit area, you know, typical E350 chassis. You know, you have your battery boost button right there. You have your left camera, right camera in reverse. And everything here that you need. And the mirrors are actually in pretty good placements. I'm, I'm pretty impressed by that. Over here, the bunk over the cab. Oh, rip that sticker. Man. Oh, right in there. Over here, the bunk of the cab is right here. It can hold 350 pounds. And then you do have a ladder right there. And then right there, they have an exhaust, but no fan. I would put a power fan right there. Oh, another thing. The 
cargo. cargo carrying capacity on this motorhome is 1,710 pounds. Good to know. What about the TV up there that swings out? Right. Okay. I was just about to mention that. The TV is right there in a good placement, kind of. Is the word adjacent to the sofa? It's not necessarily across, but it's at an angle. I don't know the word, y'all. Of car, no child left behind back in the George Bush administration. They just said, all right, go ahead. It's hard go to ahead. make it. Yep. So here's your sofa. This does jackknife to make a bed, and you do have seat belts. And I do like how it's at a good placement from the television. I even like right there how you have a little coat, coat hanger. Oh, on the Winnebago. And it does say Winnebago. Yes. Yep. Now the cabin tree above the sofa. Open that up. Oh, yeah. Wow. Okay, that's a good Look, size. Look, you can tell that's deep, y'all. Yeah, that's a good that size. That is really deep. Not too many options, which is a good thing. Oh, okay. No, the cameras in the mirror was an option, but that was the only option it really had. And this motorhome's a really good price. Now it's time for the price. MSRP on this motorhome is $89,750. MSRP. Sale price, we have it at 25% off MSRP to $67,995. That's a good price. It is, but Andrea, that's called map pricing. That's the lowest Winnebago allows us to advertise it for. But you know how they can get a better deal? Yes. How? They can call, they can email, they can text. Whoa, no, you're doing it all backwards. Say it again. They can text. No. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. They can call, they can text, they can email, or they can FaceTime. Hey, 301-906-0962 or mattsrvreviews at gmail.com. Let's continue the video. And, and by the way, guys, we, we'll just blame this on me pulling out my back, so I'm not exactly thinking like I should be. It's okay. We love you. <laughs> All right. So um, right over here is the kitchen area. Look how nice and big this sink is. Yeah, that's right a there. good size. It's not stainless steel. But it's it's still a really good size. You have nice cabinetry. I mean, you you can tell that it's solid. It's a great unit. Little cabinetry doors and drawers and doors. Right there. You have a power source right here. Little light. Three burner cooktop. You know. Microwave. Whoa! Is that a convection oven? It has to be. There's. I don't think it is. You should look on the um, invoice. That's crazy. Up here, we have a solar panel charger. Yep, solar charger ready, inverter, inverter all that good stuff. Yep, and then look at that storage right there. Oh, nice. For pots and pans. Yo, I'm pretty sure... Great, now it's broken. No, I'm just kidding. I'm pretty sure this is not a convection oven. Ah. Well, <laughs> it'll be down on the... Ah. Womp, womp. It'll be under your description if it is. No, it's not. I can tell. Right there. Look at this nice residential refrigerator. Very nice. Over here's the dinette. That's a residential refrigerator? Well, That's no, a camp it's not. size refrigerator. It's camp size, but it is an all electric refrigerator. Okay. That's what I mean. Sorry. Hey, we're both off today, y'all. Yeah. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. It's Matt's RV. Matt's in the Gray's RV show. All right. This drops down to make a bed. But look at this. I mean, that's a holy nice window. Crap. I do like this that window. This is a huge window. I really like it and it really brightens things up in yes, here. Yes, it does. Cup holders. Yep. Dinette that goes down can make it to a bed. Yep. No Very storage nice. underneath. No. No. Okay. Oh my god. Here look we go. Here. Plenty, plenty, plenty of storage. Very nice. Show that again. Nice. That's deep. And then check this out. This has a nice corner bed, another window right here, you know, TV goes right there. This is great for one or two people, you know? Yes. That if somebody's looking at like one of the 22 foot motor homes with just a dinette and they want a sofa so it's a little bit longer. Or if, you know, if customers don't want to mess with slides. Yeah, no slides, no problems. Yeah, no, not a lot of belts and whistles, less problems. Less bells and less whistles. Wow, okay, oh nice. Check this out. It's a nice size shower. It is. Now to cut costs, we had to take away the curtain, y'all. So you got a shower like this. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It comes with a curtain. 
But yeah, pretty good size for such a small motorhome. I like it. Towel hooks. Yep. You got the sink over there. Now it's time for Let the toilet see. test. Oh. That toilet looks plastic. It um, does. Let me sit on it. Uh oh. Plastic. Womp, womp, womp. Plastic toys. You know what's crazy? With the cargo carrying capacity being 1,700 pounds, they could have put a porcelain toilet in it. Shame. But they're they're cutting on costs. Shame. It says a very entry level class C. Shame. And it, where's the toilet paper holder? That's in a great spot. It is in a great spot. And this is actually a prime pooping position. And you know, position. I have to say the bathroom is a good size for this Venus. And you ruined thing. it. You put ketchup on my steak. Mm -hmm. Actually, I like ketchup on yeah, steak. Yeah, you do. But you know what I'm saying? It's like you made a great bathroom and then you put a porcelain toilet in it. I keep losing the deals and I don't want to make the deal anymore. But that's it. That's the review. Now before you leave, Andrea, it's now time we give them three things we love about this motor home and three things we dislike about it. What should we do first? Um, three things we dislike about it. Okay. I already have them. Uh, first and foremost, I must agree with you with the interior color. Just do a 360, please. The white on white, I'm not a fan of. Well, uh, I know it's supposed to be like the new modern look. I have to say though, with it being white interior, it does make it look like it's more open in here. Yeah, and, and with those is, slide outs, you exactly, do like that. that is a good thing. But at the end of the day, it's just an opinion. Right. And it's neither right nor wrong. I'm it's sure just, when customers buy it and make it their own, it'll look correct. fine when they decorate it. Now, with it. that said, I I promise you, I would consider purchasing one of these if we are purchasing one. I like it not having a slide out if you want something small, but just not the white on white. Maybe like white on brown or plenty of space or something for like that. no slides know. though. That's the first dislike. The second dislike is this. This is a microwave. This is not a convection oven. Oh my God! So there's no oven. No, there's no oven. Remember, it's like a big storage well, right there. Well, if you buy it from us, y'all, you call, you come to Ocala, Florida, we will be putting in a convection oven for you. I don't know how, I don't know where, but I know we'll do one. So that's two. And number three, should, should we do it? Should we do the toilet? Or is there something else? You know what? I'm not even going to say the toilet. You know why? Because we can swap that out, and that is a kick-ass bathroom. I'm not going to do that to Winnebago. But here's what I will do. The, the storage is not my favorite. Well, On this side. Yeah. Not necessarily that. Here's what I will say. You painted the cabinetry white. You painted the furniture white. Why didn't you paint the hot water heater white? You should have just painted this white and continue that sticker over that. That's all. Just makes it look good. Now, time for three things we love about this motorhome. Andre, do you have anything first? Oh, that I, that I love about it? Yep. Um, I love inside how it, even though it doesn't have slides, it, it's very spacious still. All right, we'll go on inside. I, I, it you takes stole. me a minute to get up here. Don't so. yell at me, Nancy. <laughs> <laughs> no. So yeah, this it's like this all the time. And I think it's great for not having slides. Yep. Plenty of space to you walk know, through. That, and you don't feel cramped. Thing. Yeah, that, that was my number two. I got my number one. That was my number two. So here's my new number two. Now that you took number two and made it number one. I like the big windows. Yes. I the one about thing, that. especially in this motorhome, you cannot buy is space. It's, listen, when, when a motorhome doesn't have slide outs, you know, it's small. But I must say, oh, and I'll even give it props. With the white cabinetry and furniture that I'm not a fan of, it does open it up and make it yes. feel very spacious. I am a fan of that. So that's number two. And then number three, it's outside. Oh, you just love making me walk up and down these steps oh, today. Right. You are my favorite though. <laughs> You're trying to score brownie points. All right. Yeah. Up here, please. So number three that I'm a huge fan of is that it actually has cameras in the left blinker, right blinker and reverse. Uh, that's super funny because there's Class C's out there that I personally... That they don't opinion, do that. Well, my opinion, I, I like more than this one that don't even have right. that. 
So big props for putting the cameras in there. We're, we're, we're fans of that. You know, I'm a big fan of the safety factor when it comes to driving these motorhomes. But that's it, that's the review. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions about this RV or any other RVs, call me, text me, send me an email. It's 301-906-0962. Andrea, I really want to thank you for coming out um, even when you're not feeling good. Say some words to the camera. Um, hey guys, thanks a lot. I see that we just reached, sorry, 23.5 subscribers, 23,000. So thank you Woo! so much for watching. You guys are fantastic. Um, keep leaving comments and just keep watching. All right, Andrea, I'm going to have you close it out. We'll see. Wait, I need to jump. <laughs> oh, okay, hold on. We're no. Gonna... I can't jump. Oh, okay, just, just throw your arm up in the air. Woo! No, we, we gotta say we'll. You gotta say okay. we'll see you next we'll time. See you.